it up right now. Back to the stripe, white flag, and one lap to go to decide the Daytona 500. Davey Allison in front and Morgan Shepard in second. Shepard stays right there. He's closed it all the way down. Robert Yates looks on. Davey Allison's mentor. Okay, he's back. He's backed off a little again to see how much momentum he can get. He tried it the last time around. He was able to pull right back up on his bumper. Timing is everything now, Neil. That gap right there should pay off at the end of the back straightaway if he's got the momentum to do it. Around Michael Walchip's car. Down for the finish. Going into turn three. Mike? Glenn Wood, can he do it? I, I don't think so. He's he pretty strong. It's just up to Morgan how he gets into turn with him. Here, Here they come. Morgan down to the line. Davy Allison first. Morgan Shepard gets it all back there. Has he got anything left? Coming to the stripe. Morgan comes to the inside, and Davy Allison is going to win the Daytona 500. Flag ready to come out. We're there. Final lap. Robert Presley going for it out of Asheville, North Carolina, and Tennessee's Darrell Waltrip right with him in one. Darrell Waltrip noses down to the inside, looks for the distance. Outside and here, Presley's protecting this side. Will Darrell go outside? He tries it out there. Here they come, down for the finish, ready to push him across the line if he has to. Robert Presley has won the Autolite Platinum 200 at Richmond International. Race. Bobby Hillen. Here we go. Here's the last lap. The white flag is out. Now, Hillen's going to be there where Rusty would like to be. Down on the inside, he can't get down there as low as he would like to get. Though. That's right. The last time he was right down there where Hillen was. Allison leads down the back stretch. Rusty looks to the inside in turn number three. Will it be Allison or Wallace? Here they come off the fourth turn. It is going to be Davy Allison winning by about a car length over Rusty Wallace. White flag. When one guy makes a move, you're going to see all of them. Make. Will it be in turn one and turn three or the trioval? Here they go to one, and here goes Irvin to the bottom. Waltrip went up high and now drops down with Irvin, and he may have touched Earnhardt. But here comes Walter up on the inside, but he's by himself down there. Here comes Hunt Strickland with him. Strickland on the bottom. Irvin and Earnhardt may have touched. And here now, comes Kenny Schrader looking 3D. Can't do it there. Entrance to turn three. Walter Strickland, Schrader on the bottom. And an Irvin running for home out front. He got just enough lead, it might hurt him. You get that far out, the pack closes on you in a hurry. Well, here they come. Out of turn four, they'll have one more shot at the trioval at Ernie Irvin. Earnhardt comes down. Waltrip goes right down to the track apron and heading for home. Give it to Irvin. They are three wide for third. Irvin, Mike Walt the, front, the white flag is waving. One lap to go. This is it for the 14th annual class. Jeff Bodine in front, driving for the first time in the Bud Moore colors. Here comes Mark Martin just easing along in the turns one and two. Martin in that second spot, and here comes Davey Allison down low, under Kowicki. Davey Allison, car number 28, pulling up on Ernie Irvin. Well, I said he wouldn't have enough time. I still don't think he has. There are three cars, very fast cars, in front of him. He's coming up on Ernie Irvin. Now Irvin makes the move. Ernie Irvin to the inside. Knocks down, Mark Martin sets him back. And he comes after. Number 15, Ernie Irvin, wide open as he comes up. It's a Ford Chevrolet battle to finish here in the Bush Clash. At the line, looking for some place to run out of room. Give it to Jeff Bodine. Ernie Irvin, the number four car, the spoiler. White flag is down. This is it in the first one. Dandy race. I think that has the key. What is the four car going to do in the middle of this? He might determine what the outcome of this race. Here comes Martin fading high to the outside in turn number two. And that onboard camera in a wide shot. He pulls up alongside. Lap car is there. Down on the bottom. Scooting through comes Earnhardt. Martin works all the way to the top. Okay, which one is Ernie Irvin going to help? He'll help the Chevrolet of Dale Earnhardt and hope that it'll suck him on by Mark Martin and he'll pick up a second, or maybe he thinks coming off of turn three, he can make it three wide, but Earnhardt's going to take the low side of the racetrack. Here they come. Here comes number six, Martin, still staying on the outside, driving for the finish. Earnhardt comes back to win it. And Ernie Irvin helped him to win that race when he got up behind Earnhardt. The mounts for Jimmy Spencer. He's trying to hold up Bobby Labonte and Jimmy Wallace. 
This is for all the marbles in the Carolina Pride Budweiser 250. Spencer slides up the racetrack. Labonte taps him just a bit. They're on the straightaway in the backstretch for the final time. Labonte now looks up, to the outside. Up, going on the outside. Spencer tries to ride him up the racetrack. Down to the strike. Yay. All right. Spencer wins by three quarters of a car length. And his crew, as you might suspect, goes crazy on pit road. Labonte nicked the wall. Earnhardt back on the inside. White flags out. This is the last lap. That would have been a dead heat. It would have been a, now, right here before. Nemechek was able to get away from him, pulling down this back straightaway. See if he can do it again. Back straight away, Earnhardt pulls away. Nemechek's going to be right with him entering turn three. It's going to be right to the wire, I'm telling you. Nemechek up high, Earnhardt down lower. He's been strong, scoots away. Now, does Nemechek have the power, and can he get it down? Off of this corner is where Nemechek's really made a run. Here he comes to the wire. He's going to beat him in the line. He's going to win it. Joe Correct. Nemechek picks up the victory, win two, and for fourth place behind Todd Bodine, Jeff Gordon holds off Kenny Schrader. White flag, one lap to go. He's going to get a shot at him. Kyle Petty is there. He is just a car length back of Earnhardt. Davey Allison coming up, but I don't think Look will be a factor. Marco. Kyle just hauls it off the corner. He's got the inside. He's up to Earnhardt's oh. bumper. Earnhardt takes oh, it. They're on, the, they're on the racing service down on the flat uh -oh. part of the racetrack. Look out. Oh, 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 oh. And it's Kyle Petty. Kyle Petty coming to the checkered flag. Here comes Davey Allison to the bottom. It'll be the finish. Everybody oh, was oh, waiting for it. Oh, they oh, crashed oh. past the finish line. Uh -oh. They have crashed into turn number one. And Davey Allison is in a shower of sparks. He won the race, but he sure paid the price for it. What a finish, Mike, I'm telling you. The lead swapped three times on in the last We keep back in the main straightaway. Made it up that time. White flag in right now. One lap to go. This is for everything. It's Bill Elliott from Dawsonville, Georgia on the outside. Wisconsin's Alan Kowicki on the inside. Side by side down the back straightaway. Even as they go to turn three. Kowicki there. Elliott pulls a little ahead on the outside. Driving for the finish. Here comes Kowicki up on the bottom of the racetrack. Kowicki going for all of it. They touch and across the line. It's Elliott. Bill Elliott has done it by about a foot to a foot and a half. Incredible finish. Alan Kowicki comes home in second spot. Harry Gant will be third. And look at the tire mark that developed in the last lap on car number 11. On the lap, they can strip all, last lap, you can strip all the paint off. Nobody cares. What a remarkable finish. And we'll be back to meet the champions at Richmond International Raceway here on TBS right after these messages. $190,000 bonus at stake coming to the line by 18 inches. This is the last lap, just going into it now. Neil, this going down this corner, like we were talking about, this was the best count he had all day, even coming up off the corner. They're going to, Bill said his car had a little bit of push, which on the outside, that's hard to deal with. Quickie goes in here, gets completely under him, and this time you both just stomp the throttle. You don't care if you make it to the line. They're in the gas, they come off, the back end breaks loose on Quickie, banks off up, but Elliott pulls by a few inches and wins.